You have so few. <laughs> Should you have? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel 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 how are you guys doing guys and girls and in between one more day to Halloween. Today's the last day until tomorrow. Then it's Halloween. <sighs> okay. I don't know what I'm doing. All I know is I'll be dressed up. I don't know what though. But, you know, you could take some ideas from my channel. And, you know, if you do, please tag me. At IzzyTime99. That's my Instagram. Or my Snapchat. At IzzyTime99. <laughs> okay. Enough rambling. So. My last video, I did a Knott's Taste of Halloween. It was so much fun. Me and my boyfriend had such a great time trick-or-treating safely, um, eating different foods. Yes, and it was such a good time. And we got a lot of compliments on our makeup and our costumes and it was just such a great time and I asked you guys if you wanted to see me recreate this look let me know and I got a few requests to do it so I figured this is the perfect way to end the spooky Halloween series that I will miss so much so that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be turning myself into the bride of Frankenstein Frankenstein's monster yes I'm excited let's get into it Okay, step one, hat off. Done. Step two, with cap. Complete. Okay, next we have to do our base. So, for the Bride of Frankenstein, I wanted it to not be green like a lot of others. It's actually my boyfriend's idea. He wanted to see like a light blue, purple, a little different. So I go in with a wet and wild white paint pot. I scoop some out on my professional makeup palette with a little spatula, if you will. Scoop some out. Okay, so we start out with a little bit. Don't want to add too much. And then with these, with a Bibella Oval Shadow Brush. This is for shadow, but I love this for face paint. It just really paints perfectly. And now, just put white all over your face. Hey guys, voiceover Izzy here. So, what you want to do after you paint your face with your brush, I like to use a beauty blender just to get rid of all the splotchy marks. And as you can see, I did add contacts as I didn't want to mess up my makeup. And then I am blending down my neck with the same brush that I used for my face. Oh, I have a tip for you. So if you want your paint to not look as splotchy, just like going up and down, what you do is you paint X's all over your face. Made You Look taught me this in a little tutorial, and it's very helpful. So you just paint X's around your face and then just blend all the way around and you should get a nice, not perfect white base, but close to perfect as you can get. And done. So next what I'm going to do, powder your face so you don't lose that perfect white base you just created. Pretty good from far away. Uh, okay, um, let's do brows. So for my brows, brows. 
I wanted my arch to be a little higher than what it is, so what I did is I went in with my white paint brush, got a lot on there, and just covered my brow basically. You could absolutely put glue over it, but I don't got time for that. Just the end of them, just so they kind of disappear. Then with a little angled brush, I'm going to be going in with that black paint. And you're going to be creating a brow. So, the Wet n Wild black paint pot and angled brush. Start where your natural brow is, and then I go higher. And where my actual brow is. Best part about this, they don't have to be even. She was used by different body parts. One brow is going to be different from the other. That's creative. Ooh, I like it. So then with your powder again, you want to go over your brows on a light hand. Very light hand because you don't want to smear your brows. I'm going very light just to set them in just so like if you do this you don't wipe your brow off because you're gonna be wearing this all day right? Right? You know what my brows kind of remind me of? Robbie Rotten from Lazy Town. We are number one. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> We'll have to teach you how to be villains. Now listen closely. Here's a little lesson in trickery. This is going down in history. If you want to be a villain number one, you have to chase a superhero on the run. <sighs> Did you guys watch Lazy Town? Comment down below. Who's your favorite character? Honestly, I relate it to Stingy. It's mine. Uh, where, did, where, where, where did that come from? Oh yeah, my brows. Okay, brows are done. Now I want to focus on the parts of the face. So like, I said it was going to be purple. So what I did to cheat that is I got a nice little contour brush. And then I used purple shadow and created my cheeks, my forehead, shaded everywhere. Just so it could look like I have purple skin. Really, I have white skin. So I went with the Patricia Bright Makeup Revolution palette. And I went in with the color Reckless. We're going to dip in that shade. And just like you would do your contour, start from top of your ear and go down. So then we got our contour line, so now we're just going to work it on our forehead. Not too much. You want it to look like your skin's purple. You don't want to see white and then purple contour. You want it to all blend in together. So I'm going darker on the sides. I'm not really hitting the center, maybe like a little bit, but mostly I'm hitting the sides of my face. So like we did with the vampire video, her cheeks are a little sunken, so we're gonna go here and then go down, so. Down, here, down. Like a little slide. Whee! Yep, like that. That's exactly how you wanna do it. 
So then you got you got that going on. Now you want to do your nose. Just a little bit on the nose. Again, you want to make it look like everything's purple. And I go with the powder just to lighten it a little. Okay. And then we're gonna go on our um, jawline very lightly. So we got some purple going on down the neck. Then I wanna do it down the neck too. <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? Oh my gosh! Is it Frank? <laughs> it's my boyfriend. Speaking of boyfriend, check out my last video where you see me and my boo go to Knott's Berry Farm for Taste of Fall. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go in just an e.l.f. powder brush. I'm gonna go in with the shade Birthday Cake. I wanna go a little bit on my cheeks, like that would be my blush, if you will. That's done. No. Oh. Oh no. Okay. You don't want to itch. Use your beauty blender. Oh. Ah. Powder my eye. No. We're okay. No, let's do the eyeshadow. That's the that's the glam part of this little tutorial. I'm gonna be going in. We do the eyeshadow next. Be going in with the changeable fantasy palette. It looks a little familiar. Yes, yes, it does. I'm gonna go in with this light pink shade and just put that all over my eye, crease, lid, etc. Okay. Oh, and by the way, I am using a Be Bella brush. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with this light purple shade. Yes, this light purple. Put that on the outer lid and the crease. And I want my my eyeshadow to curl like a wing, so that's what I'm doing. Then my lid, getting it a little dark, and then just swoop. Swoop. Okay, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And then I'm gonna stay with that palette and darken the crease. I'm going with this color, this dark purple magenta and just darken the crease and then with the palette that we use for our colors for our cheekbones we're going with that and just again darken the crease she restless that purple just keep lacing it on the lid not hitting the inner the inner lid yet just the outer and then just making sure everything is blended smooth Good. and then I really want to darken up my nose a little so I'm just Starting from the crease and going down my nose, stopping kind of at the middle. And I may be doing stuff a little different from my video. Might be adding a few new things, just a little. 
So now we're going to go ahead and do the liner, mascara, uh, um, bottom liner, and lashes. Done. I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be glam in three, two, one. Ooh. I forgot to add, I did add glitter too. Okay, I'm done. I'm getting back into it. Okay, so that's everything except for the lip, of course, or the glam part. Now we have the gore. Should I do the lip? Nah, you guys can handle my chap lip. Okay, gore part. The gore. And I'm going to do this side of my face, the white. So I'm going to go in with the white paint and just sketch out where I want my scar to be. And if it's not perfect, that is completely okay. Now we're gonna go in with the red and just outline it all for the blood. I might add some scalp blood later just because I could I didn't know if I was allowed to do that not because it would be family friendly and I was like scab blood probably isn't family friendly. clean brush. Go ahead and blend the ends of your um, scars. Just so it looks like they're in your skin. The neck. Let's do the neck now. Same process of what I did here. White, black, red, etc. All we have to do is add the lip. I will be going in in the shade Leather from Milani, the more matte. Ugh, love. It smells like butterbeer. Universal. Miss you. Feels good. By the way, this lipstick is absolutely incredible. Like, one coat. Is it montage time? Montage time.
What do we think? Looks good, huh? And spooky. <laughs> I am in love. Instead of the top that I did for knots, I just have this white jacket. And I thought, you know what? It looks cute. Oh, um, for the wig, this is the Corella DeVille wig that I used for the Ursula tutorial. Just put one black side to the other side, and yeah. Can't even tell. Yay! Thank you, guys. Oh my gosh, what a great way to end Halloween. With the bride. I want the dark light. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, give this video a like. Leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions of what you want me to do. Halloween is sadly over. However, doesn't mean I can't do gore. My Instagram handle is down below. It's IzzyTime99 and my Snapchat also IzzyTime99 if you want to, you know, leave any requests or anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Talk.